Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So I can finally talk now. It's finally during. It's finally daytime, and I'm finally awake. Um, still super jet lag from from before when I came back from Canada, but uh, I'm still here trying to trying to make as many videos as possible. It's just like the schedule is going to be a little bit inconsistent, but I'm still going to be making videos every single day. So this is my update video for for basically today. Um, I don't have a name for this new project that I'm working on. It's basically trying to build a faster team for Golden Speed 10 after I get my my July to to max level, and also um, I'm gonna start raising my Dark Gatito because I I, I have, already have him Evil 3. I have him like just basically perfect um, as a variant, everything like that. So I don't think I don't think having him as a variant really helps at all. I mean, all these Chaos Tower leader variant skills are so useless. You know, I really wish one of their leader skills was like, was like, uh, you know, like dark type or something like that. That would that would actually be perfect. I actually have a lot of really good or really decent dark monsters. Um, so I think that's pretty good. Anyways, we're gonna, we're actually what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna gem up my July. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put up some some decent gems. I I can't really I don't have a life set that I could use for her, but I do have some like. Um, decent broken gems that I can use so I think I have like I, I have like this one this one's like pretty much this is what a perfect gem looks like basically like this is a perfect defensive gem it's HP recovery defense resist and then the, the next best stat is actually flat attack well not not flat attack um percent attack um because it gives you it gives you more damage you know so you don't have to rely on like crit rate or, or anything like that i think maybe crit rate could also be be a better stat but i think this is already already near perfect um but the, the bad thing is this is a this is a tenacity set which is useless so the, the only re reason you want to use this is in a broken set so i that's what i'm going to do i'm going to make a broken set for my for my july and also i need like two more um two more hp percent type gems so I could probably use this one. This one has recovery, defense, crit damage, crit damage, recovery, defense, recovery, crit damage, attack. Yeah, I really don't have, I really don't have much to work with, to be perfectly honest. Um, I think this is probably the best one. This HP one has resist crit rate. I've been thinking a lot. Like I've been thinking if my, if I want to build my Katito with full attack. Or have one of its one of its gems um, with a defensive stat like HP or defense, because that might actually work as well. Because he he'll still be hitting really really hard, but I don't know what the best build is for for someone that's farming dragons like just dragons, higher level dragons maybe B seven, eight nine ten. Um, I don't know which which is the best best way to build it. If you want to have it full damage or if you want to have like just one one tanky slot. Um, I think the best way is if I had if I had a way to um, if I had something that could that could like that I can switch out like a gem that I can switch out. So there's two units I'm building. I'm building the July. I'm also building the Gatito. My July is going to be triple HP. I don't think there's any other way to do it. Um, I mean I, I could go crit rate but I don't have a crit rate. I don't have a square slot on, on it so I can't really do that either. This one's pretty good too. Crit rate, crit damage, HP. I mean, it's it's vitality set, which is like pretty shitty because it's, it's recovery, so don't really need need that. Um, I'm probably gonna go with this one then. I'm gonna go with the crit rate, crit damage one, and then I'm gonna go with this one, um, and then I'm gonna go with the 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 HP one. This one, resist crit rate. I mean, I could go with the other one, but the other one's a lot shittier. This one's crit damage, but I don't, I don't really need crit damage. I mean, I could go defensive, but Valor's actually useful. Like, an HP percent Valor set is actually still still pretty decent. So I, I definitely don't want to waste this gem. Um, this one's really good too, but I I think if, in the future if I need it, I could just take it out of my July once I have something else that I could use for him. There's also something else I could do. I could find a HP percent gem, like a six star one. 
None of them have six star HP percent. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this Valor one. This one's attack, crit damage, resist. 17%. I mean, this is a pretty good Valor gen, actually. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna gem gem up my July. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in. And then uh, I'm still iffy. Should I use this one? I mean, I could just pluck it out in the future once I once I need this gem, so I might as well put it in. Also, I'm I'm trying to get a little bit of crit rate and subs just to try to push it up a bit. All right, here we go. That was. Um, I mean, unless I got I got something better I could use. I probably not. So this is a little bit of resist. Um, mostly defensive stats on on these gems. Actually, no, these these are all like crit rate, crit damage stats. But I think it's still decent. It's, it's not it's not the worst. Um, I've actually been thinking of using a Valor set for for my Gatito because I could. I could do a double crit damage Valor set, because I would have 20% extra attack. I think the maximum, the most efficient way to get highest damage is probably crit rate, crit rate attack crit damage. But I could go double crit damage as well. I, I do have two crit damage gems. Like this one has attack, defense, um, this one has crit rate. And then this this one has crit rate and it also has crit damage. Actually, wait, I should probably go with the attack one. I mean, I have some pretty good Valor gems I could use, or else I'd have to use my my Ruin set. But then if I if I do if I use my Ruin set, I could I could either do yeah I don't I don't have a six star crit crit um, I don't have a six star attack gem for triangle slot. For, for my ruin set. Oh wait, I actually do. Wait, no, no, no. The one I'm missing is a crit damage gem. I don't have a six star crit damage um, gem for my ruin set. But I think the highest damage I could do is probably to use a Valor set. I could go with, um, I could go crit rate, crit damage, crit damage. And then if I need an HP, HP gem, I actually have, have something I could use. I could rip, probably like rip this one off. And then this one has attack and crit damage. But the only problem is I don't have very high crit rate um, if I do it like this. I won't have 100% crit rate. Or, or near 100% crit rate, which is probably what you want. I'll, I'll gem on my Gatito some other time, but I think right now it's... Uh, I'll, I'll work on my, my July's gems for now. I think I should get them to maybe just plus 6. I can use her a bit. Like I, she could help out with the farming a bit because she is a, she is an HP type aggressor. The only problem with the July is her, her HP pool isn't all that high compared to, compared to um, the Dark Jack or or Water Persephone. You can't really push it that high. Come on, resist is decent. Um, I think I think defense might be the best one, to be honest. Yeah, defense is definitely good. All right, this is gonna turn out as a perfect gem either way because all these stats are good. Um, but this one I could I could fuck up really badly if I if if I get really bad RNG, it could always go to the flat attack. The ideal stat for this one is, is crit rate. If it goes to crit rate, it's perfect. Oh my god, I have a flat attack and defense. This is this gem is so dangerous. It could be be ruined pretty easily. Alright, moment of truth. Come on, I need some crit rate. I need a little bit of crit rate on her. Oh my god, I went to flat defense. Yeah, whatever. It's 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 whatever, alright? It's it's just it's just how it works. Same with this gem. I hope I get like defense or something. Defense, uh, crit damage or something like that. Recovery is decent actually. Oh wait, no, recovery. 
Recovery is only good if you're running another healer, like a recovery based healer. This way, the higher recovery you have, the more it heals you. Come on, give me some, give me something decent. Oh my god, flat recovery, are you kidding me? I think plus six should be enough. I mean, it's decent. It's not, it's not like a super low HP pool, but it, it is balance type compared to, compared to like the Dark Jack or Water Persephone who has like a lot higher um, stats. I can't even look at the Dark Jack. Yeah, I think she's HP type, right? Is she HP type or is she balance type? Yeah, she's tank type. She's she's HP typed, and so is the Water Persephone. And the the Dark July is um, is balance type, so she's not she's not the best. But the the good thing about her being balance type is you can build her with like crit rate, and then if you have some attack substats, it actually makes her hit a lot harder as well. Because her, her first skill is not aggression based, so, um, and she is a dark type monster, so if you have like higher crit rate, it, it does do, it does do a little bit more. Alright, we're gonna, yeah, let's, let's actually power up, power it up to plus nine. I feel like we should. Should give this to plus nine first, and then I'll, I'll, um, I'll try to rebirth for another July if I see if I have have enough monsters to do it. If I don't, then I guess I'll summon whatever eggs I, I got from yesterday. Um, ideally, I would want it to all go into defense. I think because just having bonus defense is really nice. It just makes makes her a lot tankier in case she gets focused first. Because I'm building like all HP on her, so having a little bit of defense will actually increase her. For effective HP. Oh. Come on, just succeed already. What the fuck? This has got to be the most tilt inducing thing in the game. Like, just waiting for this thing to go up. I mean, it went to attack, but whatever. It's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. That that gem is going to come out perfect either way. This is this one's already fucked up. It went to def It went to flat defense. It already it spawned a flat defense and went to flat defense. So it's. It's it's pretty shit. It's pretty shit. But I have two more chances for it to go into crit rate to boost her crit rate up a little bit. I definitely want her crit rate to be to be um to be boosted a bit. I think crit rate's probably the best secondary stat I could have on her, just to make sure she does like so I can utilize the, the crit damage of um of her being a dark type monster. Come on, crit rate. Of like one in four chance. Please. Please don't go to flat stat. Oh my god, I went to defense three times. Or that this gym is ruined. That that one's fucked up already. <laughs> this one could easily be ruined. Um on, crit rate. This was a good gem, like before before I upgraded it, it was a good gem. Nice, it went to crit rate. I guess you're investing it a bit more. This feels like it feels like a lucky gem. Cause I, I actually don't really care what the other two stats spawn as as long as I get more crit rate. I mean it's not it's not the perfect gem, but it's it's still still a relatively decent one. Come on! Stop failing already. I think I mentioned it before in a previous video that I have a superstition. I feel like if I click it each time, there's a higher chance that it succeeds. But I think it's just a psychological effect. Because if you do the times 10, it's pretty. Um, you really do notice that when it fails a lot, but when you click each time, it, you don't notice the difference. Like, I might have already clicked like 20 times already, but I, I don't feel like. I, if, in the back of my mind, it feels like I've only clicked like 5 times. Just, I'm just tricking myself, all right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm an addict. I'm a gambling addict. I'm, I'm just, I can't. That's why I play these games. Cause I'm so addicted. Come on. Great. 
crit rate. Oh, powering up gems is so tilt inducing. Yeah, I, I probably already clicked like 40 times, but I, I don't notice. It feels like 20. If I carefully think about it, it's it probably w was already 40 times, but like, it, it feels like I've only clicked 20 times. You get what I mean? Like, if you do the times 10, you know for sure that it failed 10 times, you know? What is this bullshit? When are they going to give us another, like, half-price power-up weekend? I should definitely, uh, power it up during those times. This is actual bullshit. Holy fuck. What the fuck? Yes! I went to resist, but resist is still better than all the flat stats. Alright, this is, this is a good gem. This is, this one is good. This one's a really good one. Um, let's get this to plus 12. I give up on the vitality one. That one's, that one's shit. <laughs> that one's already ruined. I mean, it could still be decent if it goes to crit rate on the plus 12 power up. But this one's good either way. This one, it can go to any stat. Like every single stat here. It's already really nice that it went, didn't go to recovery because recovery is probably the most useless one, but all three of the other ones are good. It would be perfect if it goes to either resist or defense one more time. Come on, come on. Oh my god, this is... Alright, that's it. We're gonna use the times 10, alright? We're gonna use the times 10. It, it feels luckier, because I, I got the last one with the times 10. Oh nice, it went to attack. It didn't go to recovery, so it's it's still pretty pretty good. This one's already fucked up. This one's this one's garbage now. I mean I could stop using it, or I could uh, I could probably just temporarily use it until I find someone something better. This one has recovery attack. No guarantee that I, I would get crit rate on it either. So I mean I mean this is probably still the best one I could get. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep her like this, and then just use her for for whatever. I don't really have a lot to use. I I could try to rebirth another variant. Yeah, let's try to rebirth a variant. Let's let's do that. I think I need this. I think I need the mini cat either. Let's see if I can get a, get a variant. For my the last few, I've never gotten a variant. I mean, it is twenty five percent. Yes. Alright, nice. I can make my Light July, or my other Dark July, a variant now. Um, sh should probably do this one more time. I mean, the variant skill's not that not that useful, but I mean, you might as well do it, because there's no re real reason not to make it a variant. You know? Um, I'll probably do it, I'll probably make my Light July a variant. I probably don't need to make my other Dark July a variant. Where's my Light July? Where the hell did it go? You want to have a 100% crit rate on this. I already have like perfect gems on it. I have the perfect gem slots on my late July. It's... it disappeared. Oh wait, it's over here. See, I have double square triangle, which is like the best. And she's... I think she's... yeah, she's attack type. So, and she has seal. So you could do like... I could do like crit rate, attack, crit damage. Or if I don't have enough uh, good gems to push 100% crit rate, I could do double crit rate. That sucks. So I think probably just uh, yeah, I think I think either way, her her gem stat, her gem slots are perfect. Definitely make her a variant, but I'm yeah, I'll save my Julys. I'll probably make my Dark July Evil Three first before I even work on my Light July. I'm probably not going to work on my Light July for a long time, but I'll, I'll probably keep doing a lot of rebirths this month to to get it to Evil Three. All right, uh, let's let's summon this egg and see if I get anything anything decent. Probably not. Colt, please, Colt. Yes, Colt. All right. 
Cult is better than Cosmo. I, I, I do want to build a Dark Cult for, for the future. So I think it, it might be really good for light stages. I could use Morale Boost and then Light Predator. And just nuke the, the living shit out of anything. It's a single target too, you know? Dealing heavy... It says dealing heavy damage. It's got Death Bolt for Dark Astromon, so if I do like a full full Dark Team, I'll do a lot of damage. Um, but yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for today. So I think all in all, my luck's pretty decent. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.